everybody, it's Miss Nikki here with Gail Gordon Library, coming to you from your library at home, from my home to your home. All right, we have another elementary challenge for you today. And this one is gonna have us making quite a racket. No, not racket like noise, racket like a tennis racket. That's right. Today's challenge is to build some sort of paddle or racket device that will hit the ball the farthest or the highest that you can make it go. But you're gonna have to put on your science hats today and become engineers and steamers because not every material that you use is gonna be the same. Some might make the ball go further and some may not make it go at all. So, Take a look around your house and you can use anything that you'd like. Maybe something you find in the recycling bin, like a toilet paper tube, or an old takeout container, or some cardboard from a cereal box, or an old box that you have, maybe some paper plates, paper, an old t-shirt. Anything you can think of, you can use it but make sure to think about why that material might work or why it might not, and then test it out. So you can make a racket like a tennis racket that's weaved, or you can make one that is flat, but are all of them gonna be the best material? That's up to you to find out. Once you make your racket, you're not done. You're gonna have to hit it with something. So. If you have a ball around your house, you can use that, or you can make one with a balloon, or a piece of paper, or a piece of tin foil. You can use anything that you can make somewhat round or spherical, another word for round. Next, you're gonna see how your paddle works by hitting your ball. So, what you're gonna do is use your ball and your paddle and or a ruler, anything that is standard. That means it always stays the same, so you can count it. You can even use your foot. <laughs> you can use anything as long as it's the same and you keep measuring and counting how many there are. So there's a lot of counting and experimenting involved with this project today. I can't wait to see how far you're able to hit it. Then when you're all done and you've made the best racket that hits your ball the farthest, maybe make a second one and you can play a game with someone in your house. Play a little tennis or ping pong and have some fun. If you need some inspiration, you can always hit up the Gail Gordon 24-7 e-library for some books or give us a call and we can place some items on hold that you can pick up at the drive-up window. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I hope you'll share it with me by taking a picture and posting it to social media at hashtag GailBordonPL so we can see the awesome things that you come up with. So just remember, it's all about how high or how far 